Hi children, so our study today is about counting binomial property. It's of the form a plus b power n. As you can see, you start combination. Now we know a plus b square, a plus b cube, but suppose the power is more than 3. So it's a combination. You start always by 0. You put here the power n in all. You start from 0 up to the reaching n. You put the first uh, coefficient, then the second coefficient. You start by the first, by the highest power n, and you decrease it down. However, the second one, you start by 0, and you increase it up. Or, in other words, the coefficient, coefficient of the first one is a difference. n minus 0 is n. The coefficient of the second is the power of the number above. For example, here it will be n minus 1 and b power 1. Here, n minus 2 for the first one and 2 in the second. The last one, for example, n minus n 0 and the last one is n. Let us take example. Suppose I want to find the 2x plus 3 power 4. So I start uh, 4, 4, 4, start 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So if you have power 4, how many, how many monomials you have? I have 5 because I'm starting from 0 and ending at 4, so it's 5. So the first one will be 2x, the second one to be, to be 3. The power of the first one will be the difference, 4 minus 0, 4, and the power of the second is power 0. Here, 4 minus 1 is a 3 and power 1. 4 minus 2 is 2, and here power 2. 4 minus 3 is 1, and power here is a 3. 4 minus 4 here is 0, and the power here is 4. Combination of 0, 4 is 16. Uh, 2x power 4 is uh, 16x4. Any number powers, sorry, for 0 power is a combination of 0, 4 is 1, sorry. 2x power 4 is 16x4, and 3 power 0 is 1. Here, combination of 4, of 4 power 1 is 4, and 2x uh, cube is 8x cube times a 3. Here, combination of 4 of 2 is 4 times 3 over uh, 2, so it's 6. 4x squared times 9, etc. Here, combination 3 out of 4 is 4 times 2, 2x times 27. And for combination 4 out of 4 is 1. Here, power 0 is 1, 3 power 4, 81. As you can see it, it's here and you continue. Okay, here now I have power 5, so how many monomial you have? You have 6 because 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 6 monomials. So here the power is the difference. Difference 5 minus 0 is 5, here the power is 0. 5 minus 1 is 4, here you have power 1. 5, uh, difference between 5 and 2 is a 3, and here is 2, 5, 3. 2 and here is 3. So only the first one is the difference and the other one is the power here. So 0 and uh, 5. So if you do it, combination 0 out of 5 is 5. 2 power 5 is 32 times 1. You can see here 32. Here 4. 2 power 4 is 16. 16 uh, times 4 is 80 minus y. So minus 80y. Combination 2 out of 5 is 10. 10 times 8 is 80 times y squared. Here, combination also of 3 of 5 is 10. 10 times 4 is 40, times minus y cube, minus 40 y cube. 4 out of 5 is 5, x, y4, as you can see it here. And the last one here, it's 1, 1, minus y5. Suppose the question is, now find the, the fourth term. So if you want to find the first, fourth term. So always you need to know that we start... Always you put here, you have power 6, you put 6. Because I'm starting by 0. So the fourth term will be 3. Okay, you write it as it is. Now what do you do? You write the first monomial. The first monomial is minus 2x. The power of minus 2x must be the difference. 6 minus 3 is 3. And the second monomial is a 3y, as you can see it here and will be the power of the number above. So as you can see, if you do it, combination of six, 3 out of 6 is 20, and uh, minus 2 cubed is minus 8x cubed, 3 cubed is 27x cubed, and this will be the number. Here I want the third term. So the third term, you start 0, 1, 2. 
and you have here 10. So A, the difference between 10 and 2 is 8. And here you put power 2. So combination 2 out of 10 is 45 because it's 10 times 9 over 2. A8, B2. I want the middle term. The middle term, since you have 9 terms, you know, in the statistics, because of starting by 0, 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. So the middle term will be the fifth term. Okay, so the fifth, because you're starting by zero, it will be four. Here you have eight, the difference is four, and here the power is four. The first number is eight, the second one is minus b. So combination four out of eight is 70. A4, B4. What is the fourth term? So fourth term, it will be you put a three because I'm starting by zero. You have a 12. A power uh, difference, nine, 12 minus three is nine, and here you put minus two b power three. So a combination of 3 of 12, you can do it. It's 12 times 11 times uh, 10 over 3, 2, 1. So the answer here will be the combination of this one will be 220. 220 times uh, minus 8, it will be minus 1760. Okay, you can see it here. You have A9 and B3. Is this possible? Because the power is negative, no, it's not impossible. It's impossible to find the terms. Here I want uh, the middle term. So also 11, I have 11 term divided by 2. 5.5, it will be the sixth term. The sixth term will be the middle one, which is uh, 5, 5 out of 10. Okay, 1 over x has power, the difference between the two. And here it will be the power 5. So it will be here 1 over x5. Here, minus x5. So this cancel out. Remains minus 1, as you can see. And 5 of 10 combination is minus 252. The second term, so 7, you put 6 and 8. So a3, power 2, 8 minus 6. And here, one or minus 1 over 8, power 6. So uh, it will be a6 over a6 cancel out, but you have the minus or so minus 28 since combination 6 out of 8 is minus eight. We cannot expand because power minus uh, negative. Here we can. I want the sum of the last three coefficients. The last three, you have 6, 6, as you can see here. The one before is 6, 5, and the one before 6, 4. So here the first one is 1, the second one is minus 1 over x, as you can see. So here the power will be the difference. Here the power will be 4. So here the 5. And here 1. Here 0. And uh, this is power 6. If you do it, I want the coefficient. 4 out of 6 is 15. And here uh, it's minus because you only minus. You don't have minus because power is even. So here you have, sorry, minus. Minus. Okay, 5 out of 6 is 6, and here you have plus 1, so you have this answer. I hope that you got the binomial formula. Binomial formula is something very simple. I want you, for example, to prepare it. For example, and uh, try to... Uh, it's very easy, it's very simple, uh, so it's direct application. So be ready for next time. Thank you for listening.